Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. This is the story of the morning right now. You're taking a live look at Reagan National Airport down in Washington, D.C. As you can see, planes are grounded. That's a site you typically don't see. The FAA grounding all U.S. flights until at least 9 a.m. That is 32 minutes from now. We'll see if they extend that. They are working to fix a nationwide system outage. You can't fly when the systems are not working properly. Newsmax correspondent Jonathan Glasgow is live at LaGuardia International Airport right now with an update for us. Jonathan, what are you learning? Well, we're learning that a lot of passengers waiting in limbo as flights have been delayed, some have been canceled, and this is causing impacts, as you mentioned, all across the United States. So what we know so far is that the FAA has, has experienced a computer outage to a system that provides the pilots with a pre-safety flight instructions. So when that goes down, obviously planes cannot fly. So the FAA says that flights could land, but they could not take off. It's unclear at the moment why the system went offline this morning. More than 1,200 flights with in, into or out of the country are delayed or being canceled. More than 100 flights have been canceled, according to FlightAware. Now, the transportation uh, Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, said on Twitter that he's been in contact with the FAA and that the FAA is performing final validations on checks and reloading the system right now. Now, there is no evidence of a cyber attack at this point, but the president directed the Department of Transportation to conduct a full investigation into the cause. He wants to find out what is behind this. The FAA doesn't know what happened as of right now, but it says it's performing the final validation checks and reloading the system as we speak. Again, the planes are grounded until 9 a.m. Eastern time. That's what we know at this point that could possibly be delayed at this point, still on time for 9 a.m. to get the planes off the ground here at the airport. Passengers, they are waiting in limbo for any new information to hopefully to get on to their next plane and on to their final destination. Guys. Yeah, Jonathan, the passengers there behind you do not look pleased uh, right now. It is good to hear that, according to the FAA, nothing nefarious to report about this outage yet. We'll keep an eye on that. But LaGuardia, one of the busiest airports in the country right now, um, does it feel like this is going to be extended past 9 a.m.? That's just 29 minutes from now. Well, here at the LaGuardia, we're in Terminal A. We don't have that sense of urgency among the passengers here that have been coming in. Uh, right now, it's just it's only been a few hours, so you know, oftentimes planes are delayed hours, you know, sometimes even up to a full day. But at this point, we're not seeing that urgency here in the airport. But that could change as we are awaiting more information from the FAA as they get more uh, details as to potentially this could go longer throughout the day and cause even more significant outages for planes and airlines. Uh, right now, though, we are noticing that uh, passengers are quite calm, collected, and uh, just waiting for some final word here. Yeah, if there were an update, you'd think there'd be some sort of announcement and passengers would be told to sort of make their way through security uh, and get to gates as planes uh, try to try to get out of there. Um, we'll keep a close eye on that. Jonathan Glasgow reporting live at LaGuardia yeah. for us. Thank you.